Hello YouTube, uh, today we're going to be going over some multiple choice practice, pra practice problems, excuse me, for a perfect competition kind of style and cost curves and charts, uh, kind of problems like that for economics, microecon. Um, so yeah, let's jump into it. So the first question says, the marginal product of labor is the change in the total product um, from one unit of increase in, so you have change in total product, and you should know that um, marginal product is also so the total product divided by the change for one unit of quantity of labor that's kind of a definition question and the answer is a uh, but it's pretty much saying what's your marginal product if you go from zero to one workers and uh, obviously you know uh, then you produce so this is workers and this is um, product total product so this chart is kind of crooked, but um, so you have nothing, and then say work first producer first worker produces four, and then combine the two people produce ten. Um, so that is your change um, in the quantity of labor. As marginal product is the difference between the two. So that's concept wise. All right. So next question we have: the steeper the slope of the total product curve, the blank. Um, well, let's read the first one. A, the larger the marginal product of labor. That sounds right, and here's why it's actually the right answer. So, here's your total product curve, and it depends on, obviously, your uh, labor and output. So, however many number of workers you have, your output generally increases, but it kind of levels off towards the end because if you have overcrowding and things like that but that's not what we're talking about here but for the questions asking when it's at its steepest so say it's here um, and you draw a tangent line to that point oh my gosh I can't do this today um, <laughs> eh, there's no okay anyway a tangent line at that point let's just move the point here um, then that is where you have your steepest ascent um, and that means what would happen? Well, going back to this next question, this is kind of like change in um, each thing. So derivatives change. So where would you have your steepest change? Would that would be when you have uh, the steepest or the larger. Huh. So the steeper the slope of the total product curve means that you are changing the amount of output you have per labor at the fastest point. So that's where it's your maximum or your, where you're changing the fastest, and that would be where you'd have the larger marginal product um, as kind of the one and two sort of relate to one another. So now we're going to go to three. Um, the table sh shows the short run product schedule for Virginia's t-shirts. What is the marginal product associated with hiring the fifth worker? So hiring the fifth worker, marginal, remember, always think of marginal as change. So what's the difference between the product between the fourth and five? fifth worker. So if you have four workers you can produce 220. If you have five workers you can produce 250. So the marginal total the marginal product would be 250 minus 220, which would be 30 shirts. Now you look at your answer choices and you're like, oh 30 shirts right there. That's what I would suggest you do for these types of exam problems. They try to trick you with your by reading the choices. Always try to analyze the question first and then look at the answer and see if your answer shows up. That's the best way for these types of multiple choice exams. Finally, we have, or second to last, I should say, the table shows the short run product, okay, blah, blah. What's the average product associated with hiring the fourth worker? So the average product um, is simply how much did you produce total? What's the total? Well, there are four workers. You can produce 220 shirts. And how much is that per worker? Well, you have four, so let's divide by the total number of workers you have. Um, and that would give you... 55 shirts. So you check, oh, look at that, that's B. Um, okay, we're just going to do one more. It's a large one here, uh, partially because kind of conceptual. So the marginal cost curve intersects the what? Now this one I'm actually going to look at the answer. So they're looking at average total cost, average variable cost, and average fixed cost seems to be the, the main curve. So let's draw those out. Okay. So here's our marginal cost curve, which is our supply curve, and our average total cost and average variable cost. Let's look at those. Our average variable cost will intersect at its minimum here, and that would be your average total, or excuse me, variable cost. Our average total cost could be somewhere up here, um, and that's also at its minimum point. 
as well. So if that's at its minimum, um, these are actually, I believe, the only two that occur at their minimum point, so it would have to be D as your answer choice. Um, to quiz you on this kind of concept, let's try um, a concept question here. So if, say this was a marginal cost curve for some reason, and I told you or asked you to draw the average total cost curve, how would that look like in relative to this graph? Take a moment to think about it. I'm going to start drawing it now. So at the beginning, uh, you would, they would both decrease at the same time. But then once you reach the minimum here and they intersect at the minimum of the average total cost, then they both start to increase at the same time, but not over the marginal cost because you originally started off low. Then you intersect at its maximum here, but then you start going down, which also pulls down the average. And then once the marginal cost starts to increase, you reach its minimum average, and then you begin to increase as well with the marginal uh, cost, but it never surpasses. So this would be an example of what the average total cost could look like. You can interpret this kind of as um, GPA um, versus QM GPA. So this is like uh, your semester or quarter uh, GPA versus your QM GPA, and your QM GPA would be your average total cost, and your um, GPA would be your marginal cost for the quarter, semester, whatever. Um, so you kind of can think about it conceptually that way, but hope this kind of helped with uh, going over uh, questions like this, and maybe it'll help you with studying for exams.